Weeks after surgery, 17-year-old Corey Everett is still recovering at Dell Children's Medical Center, now confined to a wheelchair, unsure he'll ever get out. It was supposed to be a very small chance, but I did that. No, it was a possibility. The surgery left Everett unable to use the left side of his body after surgeons removed part of his brain. They hoped to stop seizures he'd experience as often as eight times a day since he was nine. I'm hoping to go back to a real school and maybe play some sports. While the seizures have stopped, it's uncertain if Everett will ever get his motor skills back. And even with health insurance, the bills are piling up. A constant worry for Corey's mother, Renee, who's doing her best to keep his spirits up. Financially, I don't know how we're going to do it. We're losing everything. I mean, a lot of our stuff, we're selling things just to make for food. It's a situation many families are unprepared for, catastrophic medical expenses. According to finance website NerdWallet.com, more than 16 million children live in families struggling to pay medical bills, and 1.7 million families will declare bankruptcy as a result. Our vehicle won't. We can't even transport him right now. We have a truck. A little truck. <laughs> and I don't even know how I'm going to get him. I'm borrowing a vehicle just to get him home. Everett hopes doctors will release him in the next few weeks, but as his family's finding out, that's when the new challenge of making ends meet after this unexpected setback begins. In Austin, Tom Miller, KVU News. Well, doctors aren't sure why Everett started having seizures, but whether it's a health issue like that one or a car accident, unexpected medical bills are taking a toll on American families. NerdWallet also shows 10 million Americans who have health insurance still can't pay all their medical bills. The same number also can't pay for basic necessities like rent, food, and heat because of those bills.